Alright, here is the instructor prep video for Jeremy Drost. First we're going to make a new document. Go ahead and put a new sketch in there. And just build a rectangle. Constrain its dimensions. And pop it onto the orange end. Alright, fully constrained. Let's extrude that up five. Click on the face, new sketch, let's put a circle on there. Let's constrain it to the center. Constrain its radius, let's just do seven. All right, that's done. Let's go ahead and extrude that up five. Click on that face, another sketch. Let's put a hexagon in here. Let's go ahead and stick it in the middle as well. Let's square it up. Constrain its radius to be five. All right. There's our part. So on this one, we're going to pock it through to the bottom, help decrease the print time. So there's our part. So let's export it. It's an STL. Then we will pop over to Kira on the other screen here. Load that model in. You can hear the printer going through his auto zeroing. So now I'm gonna move the screen over here a little bit so we can see the, the Z offset. So now that it's in its print mode, we can go to tune and we go all the way to the bottom. And there's a baby step Z. We move into that screen. And then I adjusted the offset to an incorrect position for this tutorial. So as we start printing, I'm going to watch it, and I'll leave it here so you guys can see what's happening. But we need to come down quite a bit. Alright, that's looking pretty good. A little bit more. Let's take you over here, you can see you might not be able to see but the first line was pretty thin uh, but now we're getting nice flat lines that aren't too dug into the bed so I think that will work so back here we're gonna go to the minus uh, 1.31 so we got to remember that number go back menu go down to control go to motion go to Z offset Minus 1.3 if I remember right. So we need to get this to like 2.4. So by doing this, the next time that the printer starts, that Z offset will be correct. So we go down here to store. And now it's saved. So back to the info screen. All right. Back over here, we got to get through the merge workflow. So I prepared a file that we're going to merge into. So we'll open that. All right, so then we would go um, file. We gotta save our other one first. Save as test one. Okay, back to the merge file. Uh, file, merge project, get your test file. Now you can see they're not quite lined up. Now in this instance, this was made in parts um, design, so we have to actually relocate the sketch. So you click where you wanna move from and you click where you wanna move to and it moves the part. Let's say that's a good spot for it. So we're going to save this file here, and then we're going to grab this pocket and make a dumb copy, put in a new document, and paste it, and I'm going to click here to find it. So there it is. We're going to save this as sketch two, or test number two. And we'll go back to the merge file here, and we will get rid of everything that made up this piece see it all later. Now if we do a merge again with the new part that we just saved, it'll be in the correct location. 
So now when we load it, it's in the spot where we had left it. So let's save this, save this. I'm going to take a couple screenshots for the wiki. So do a screen grab here, do a screen grab here. Now we should have everything we need to go to the wiki, so we're going to go back onto the other screen here. Hopefully you can see on the video. I'm going to go to my work log where I've already created some placeholders for these photos and files to go. So first we'll do the pictures. So this is the first screenshot of the part. Upload. Second screenshot of the assembly and upload. Then we will go to upload the actual part file, which is test two. Um, you could put test, the original test piece in there as well with the sketches so that if somebody wanted to edit the sketches, they could have access to that. Um, but for this case, we're just gonna upload these files uh, as we have them here. All right, so that's uploaded. Pictures, these files, they're all uploaded. Now it does take a minute or two for the log to update, so we're just gonna going to let it uh, refresh here. We'll refresh again in a, in a minute or two. Um, our part is printing. Here it says we're about 80% of the way done. So we'll go take a look at that in just a second. And we still have not refreshed. Give it a second. Yep, I'm just going to keep spam of F5. There they are. There, so there's our pictures. That's what a part library looks like. Um, we've got the pictures. We've got the files. Um, it lets everybody know what's going on with the project. So the printer is just about done. You can see our part there. I'm going to set you guys down for a second look at the screen again while I get the handy dandy scraper out here and pop this off of the plate. Oh, we had really good adhesion. Alright, there's the part. So, you can see the bottom of the piece has is pretty uniform and, and pretty flat. If you look at the pad when we started, um, if you look at this side, you can see we're a little bit thin. Um, we got it down and adjusted before the extruder actually started sending out any plastic. Um, I did have it printing four lines around the outside, so um, the timing was pretty well. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this. It's a little quicker than I expected, but I suppose that's well.